All right, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and we're going to do a blender tutorial today. We're going to actually create four things today. We're going to build the Washington Monument. We're going to build a pyramid. We're going to build a sword, and we're going to build a, a spaceship, all in blender. Okay, so uh, it is recorded live. Feel free to ask questions. That actually makes it more rich. And uh, I think you're going to find this software very interesting. Now, let me just say a few things. A lot of people trash Blender. I say, oh, this is terrible. This is horrible software. And uh, especially if you're used to 3ds Max, you're just totally spoiled. But if you're a faculty member like we are, <laughs> you don't have any money. So you've got to use what's free. Now, let me say, tell you, Blender is great. All right? There's nothing wrong with it. It's just the learning curve is a little bit higher, and it's, it's, it's done differently than 3ds Max. So you actually have to think differently to use Blender than you would 3ds Max, but you can do some fantastic stuff with it once you get over that curve. Now, I have a list here. Uh, you all should have that. You picked it up of shortcut keys. And so one of the purposes of the lessons today is to get over that hump, to enable you to start working with Blender and actually see how easy it is and beautiful it is to use. And uh, we're going to actually just go right into Blender, going to bring that up, and then we're going to start working with it and uh, building stuff. And I think that's the best way to learn it. So everyone go ahead and just bring up Blender and get it up on your machine. So if you look at the handout, there's a number of, uh, of shortcut keys I've given you. And uh, learning Blender can be as hard as uh, flying a jet plane. So uh, bear with me. But we'll look at the important ones. And typically, the first few are the most important. Uh, but uh, it does take a lot of keys to make Blender work. And uh, once you learn those and start working with it, it actually gets pretty easy to use. Uh, at the end, here's the exercises. And like I said, a pyramid. We're going to build a more advanced pyramid, a sword, and a spaceship. Excuse me, we're going to build the Washington Monument. So that would be fun. We actually built a pyramid last time, and I realized I can make the Washington Monument. So I did. So we'll do that this time. And I don't know if I'll be referring back to this list. I'll try to post it up on my professional Paper Vision book blog. But besides that, I think that's it. And we're just going to go for it. And this is the Blender interface right here. And uh, in comparison to 3ds Max, it can be a little bit scary. Because in 3ds Max, you see four screens here. You, don't see, you just see one. But you can create other screens. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. You can come along here and right click on that little divide right there. And when you do, it says split area, join area, and uh, no header. So if I hit split area, it gives me a little line here. And I can split that line. And now I can have two views of what I'm, I'm working on. OK? Right here in the, the in the seam, or here in the seam. So if I if you click on the seam, just right click on the seam, and you can say split area. No, I'm okay, I'm gonna come around and make sure you get it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. So come along here, and if you want to do it again, you can click here and go split area. And look at that, you can actually get one the other way. And then let's do this. Let's just go Control X. Ta-da! Take us back. All right. So this is the initial screen that you see with uh, Blender. And what you have right here in the middle is a cube. Now, I had someone working with me on this the other day. And this is, I rendered it, but it's a square. No, it's a cube. So how do you see that cube? Hold down your middle mouse button. And you should be in the screen here and slide it. Mm -hmm. You better have a middle mouse button. That's right. That's called the middle mouse button. That roller is called, for your information, is called the middle mouse button. Now, let me just say this. With 3DS Max, you can get away with uh, not using this middle button, especially with 9, because it has a uh, little uh, gadget or gizmo that allows you to do this without a mouse. So if you have a laptop and you're running around, and uh, you can go anywhere and do your 3DS Max projects in the airport or whatever. But when it comes to uh, Blender, I'm going to tell you it's really hard to get around without having a ma middle mouse. And we're going to show you a lot of cool things. So that middle mouse allows you to rotate around that arc view. If you want to go back to where you were, just hit the one key. See on your numpad. OK, or if you want to go back. Now I'm going to show you how. So that's one important thing. You need to roll around that object so you can see around it. And you need to go back to where you were, hit one. That's good. We'll be doing that today. Another important thing is to be able to pan, be able to shift that object around the screen. Okay, So here's the trick for that. Hold down the shift key, hold down your middle mouse button, and drag. Can you guys do this? Do you see that? So you're going to be working with objects today and building them. And you're going to be holding these keys around and hitting that shift key and dragging. Now, 
I'm, gonna, I'm really big on shortcut keys, and it'll save you a lot of time. So I talk about this left-right hand combination, where you got your left hand, you're doing your combination uh, shortcut keys, and your right hand's working with the mouse, or whatever you're doing your drawing with. So you want to really learn these shortcut keys, not go to the menu items, but to the shortcut keys. It'll save you a lot of time, especially if you go into the business. You'll be sleeping on your desk, and anything, that you, any time that you can save uh, will be well worth it. So you guys ready to build something? Okay, let's go ahead and control X and just clear the screen. Hit erase all. And we're ready to start. So we're going to build the Washington Monument. Ta-da! So what does the Washington Monument look like? Well, it's a pyramid, and it has a long... Yeah, you know, yeah. A absolutely. So we're going to build that. So what I'm going to do real quick here is just kind of rotate a little bit so I can see the top of this square right here. Or this, any way you want to do it. I, it doesn't matter what, which way you go. Uh, let me just say something real quick while we're here. You're looking at right here are the what's called a translation gizmo. You see if I grab that arrow there, see how it translates along that direction, a green that direction, and a blue that direction. What the heck directions are those? Well here's the way you remember it. R, G, B, X, Y, Z. R, G, B, X, Y, Z. So red is the X direction, Y is the yellow direction, and Z is the right. And ready? So we're going to build our pyramid on the, uh, uh, this axis right here, the y-axis. And what I'm going to do is to zoom in. And the way I zoom in is I just roll my mouse. Just roll that middle mouse button. See how you can zoom in and out? Isn't that super cool? Yes, it is. And now I want to edit this. So here it is, the secret edit button. Tab. Hit the tab button. And your uh, cube should have lighted up like this one, like mine did, did it? learn this about Blender, I was, this is great, I can edit now, but I was stuck because everything was highlighted. I mean, everything's selected here, so what the heck do I do? I want to deselect and actually work with the individual vertices, and so just hit the A key, and that deselects. So that's a selection toggle. If I hit A again, it selects everything. If I hit A again, it deselects everything. All right, now, let me just say this. Uh, I work with paper vision, you guys know that, and so as a result, uh, I'm I'm thinking about the way these things are formed, and this is why there's really not much difference between 3ds Max and Blender. Oh, I'm going to get letters on that one, but a vertice is a vertice is a vertice, and ultimately I'm working with vertices, okay? And so I want to be able to move these vertices around. So let's just grab one, move it around, play around with it. So right click on one of these vertices, it's selected. You see that? And then you can just use your translation gizmo and actually deform that. You see that? Everyone able to do that? Okay, one second, I'll come help you, Roxanne. Right, that's not what we want to do. So we're going to actually, that, this control Z a few times, get back to where we were. Okay, get back to your cube. If you don't have your cube, for some reason you're lost, just hit control X. So I want you guys to be here. I just want to show that to you. I'm going to hit the A key, select everything. I'm going to hit the A key again, deselect. So I have everything deselected. You see that? And what I want to do now is show you some important commands and then we're going to actually go right to building our pyramid. The first command is the G key. G key is the grab key, okay? Hold on. I want to hit the tab key real quick to get out of edit mode, go back to my uh, uh, figure. Everyone see what I see? So hit the G key, that's the grab key. That allows you to move your object around. And you just click to let go of it. The R key, guess what that is? Anybody guess? Rotate allows you to rotate. Now you can rotate in different directions. So if I hit the X key, that constrains me to the X axis. You see that? If I hit the Y key, that constrains me to the Y axis of rotation. And I, if I hit the Z key, that constrains me to the Z axis of rotation. You see that? Mm -hmm. Roxanne, is that okay? Okay, let me come and help you. Real. No, I'm going to come help you real quick. Okay, now that you're done rotating, we're going to look at the S key and guess what S means? Shrink, size, there you go. And you can shrink the whole thing up and down, or if you hit the X key, you can shrink in the X direction, or Y key, shrink in the Y direction, or Z key, shrink in the Z direction. You see that? You can really see that now in the Z direction where you couldn't see in the other ones. And this will be an extremely useful okay, tool to use, especially when you start working with uh, box modeling. All right. So those are the translation gizmos, and the same thing for 3ds Max. There's basically three things you can do
And not just this, but also in physics, believe it or not, is to rotate, to translate, or to stretch. And that's it. And uh, those are the three things. If you don't like where you are, just hit Control-Z to take you back to, excuse me, Control-X to basically get your screen back to restart, erase all, I'm back to my original screen.